these solar flare updates um, with uh, the planetary alignments just so that we can see where the, the planets are in our solar system, their alignments. It's important, at least to me. Um, what we have right now is Jupiter is in Virgo, Libra is empty, as well as uh, Scorpio, uh, minus the moon. The moon is in Scorpio, my bad. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, Sean. Libra? Yeah. Oh, my chart here is wrong. I got, <laughs> this is old, but anyway, I'm going to keep doing it. Uh, the sun is in Sagittarius. Mercury is about to be in Capricorn, Venus as well. Mars, Neptune, and Aquarius, Uranus, and Pisces, and uh, that's what we have for you today. Uh, for the solar flares, we don't have much um, unusual activity except for this one uh, chart right here. As you can see, there's a straight line instead of how it's a, a big dip, a big rise and a dip, how the rest of them are. It's a straight line right here, and I haven't seen this before, but I believe it's a malfunction from one of these solar flares hitting... Uh, whatever device was recording this data. Um, beyond that, there's not much uh, unusual activity, no X flares right now, but I will give you a direct feed of what the sun is doing. So, as I go to the start and I speed this up, I'm just noticing, and as I pause it, I want you to look, if you can, at the shadow right yonder. If you were tuning in last week, you also noticed the shadow was in the feed, and I feel this could be uh, sort of an effect from uh, the planet that was going by, and it just kind of stayed into that. Or another possibility, if you're into this sort of thing, is it could be a, a giant UFO with a cloaking device, and the sun's light is just sort of bending around that and making it look as if it's a shadow. Um, I'm not going to say which one I feel is is right, but I just want you to notice that and maybe if you're interested, uh, you can dive into that. And if you find anything out, let us know. So I'm going to continue this and the shadow will disappear right there. Um, there's interesting activity going in the, the bottom left corner of the sun. Um, you saw a little solar flare coming from the top right. A little malfunction as you can see as I show you on the chart uh, Venus is coming around uh, <laughs> Venus is coming around the Sun right here in the bottom left corner of your screen uh, more malfunctions coming from solar flares hitting the webcam uh, you notice this uh, significant solar flare coming out there but it may look pretty bad but it's not really causing much for Earth. Just a teeny little flare. Right there, a decent sized flare. Um, not really Earth directed, so. There is a medium amount of activity coming from the sun uh, this week, but not too much. Uh, it still feels like a, a slow time mentally for us, so we're still sort of taking in everything that we've done this past year processing it, seeing what we need to keep in, and sort of, you can visualize the sun kind of exploding at like a solar flare, just releasing everything that you've been holding within that, that little tiny light in your pineal gland or within your heart chakra. Um, so just remembering to let go of what you don't need anymore. It's a new year. We're new people. We can be whoever we want right now. So with that, I'm going to pass it on to Shannon for her update. Awesome. 